And I know you brought up Susan Rice in that context, but I'm going to bring her up in another context that's equally as new newsworthy, and that is uh, the email that was declassified uh, from Susan Rice on Inauguration Day, which is so peculiar. It set the scene. It's Inauguration Day. You're moving out of the White House. This is the most powerful building on planet Earth. Susan Rice is moving out, reflecting on her time here, and what is she doing? She's not packing her boxes. She's not being nostalgic about her time in the White House. What she's doing is writing an email where three times she writes that President Obama emphasized to conduct the investigation into Michael Flynn by the book, by the book, by the book. She writes it three times. As uh, Shakespeare said, thou doth protest too much, Susan Rice. Uh, he didn't have the Susan Rice part in there, but I'll add that in. Um, two, um, she was asked specifically about the unmasking of Michael Flynn after, after she discussed it on January 5th in the Oval Office with Obama after she wrote this email to herself on Inauguration Day. She was asked by a good journalist, Judy Woodruff, about this email and, she's, and about the unmasking of Michael Flynn, not the email, but the unmasking. Um, she was asked specifically about Nunez's claim specifically. So let me clarify, it was Nunez's claim. And she said, I know nothing about this. So it was a lie. Um, and then Susan Rice, since no one brought it up to me, I will bring it up to you. Her attorney said, that this was the first opportunity three weeks after this Oval Office meeting that she had to write this email memorializing her Oval Office meeting with a Barack Obama discussing Michael Flynn. It was her first opportunity, she said. Uh, interesting, because she had an opportunity in those three weeks on January 10th uh, to do a passing of the baton event with none other than Michael Flynn, where she praised him, wished him success, and talked about the great transition into the White House. And then on January 12th, she was able to participate in a story that published on that date in the lifestyle section of the Washington Post. So she never had time uh, to write this email until Inauguration Day as she's rushing out the door, uh, when in fact she had an opportunity to do all of those things. Um, I'll leave that with you. Thank you for bringing up Susan Rice, not in the context that I wished, but for allowing me to share that with you.